we've been talking about how you've mentioned how your weight and shape has quite a big impact on how you feel about yourself. And I wanted to do a bit of an exercise today where we look at that in a little bit more detail. Would you be sure. interested? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay. So I might start by just getting you to think about all the things that influence how you feel about yourself as a person, the things that influence how you judge yourself as a person. Okay. And I'll list them. Um, so like things that make me feel good or things... Yeah, so not so much what you like or what's important to you generally, but things that affect how you feel about yourself. So if something were to go well or poorly in that area, you might feel better or worse about yourself. Okay. Yeah. Like some people say, oh, if I do well at uni, I feel really good about myself. Or if I fail a subject, I feel terrible about myself. So okay. that means that their uni or their grades is important to them. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Family, I think. Family's really important. Um, and friends. Um, I think work, my job. Um, I like to do well at work. Um, and yeah, like I, I guess you said weight, definitely. Weight would be in there. a big one, yeah. yeah. I remember you did feel pretty bad last week when it went up. I remember you saying, really "Yeah, it definitely affects how I feel yeah. about myself." Okay. Are they the main ones? Would you say? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, now let's let's order them in terms of importance, if we can. So mm -hmm. let's number them one to four, with one being the most important thing. So. Um, Again, think about how you might feel if something were to go good in that area or go badly in that area. Which one would have the biggest impact on you, yourself? I hate to say it, but it would, it would have to be weight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If my weight goes up, I just feel awful. Okay. Look, hey, it's good to be honest. That's that's the, the point of this. Yeah. yeah. Um, then probably family. Mm-hmm. And friends and work in that order. Okay, great. Well, let's let's do it as a pie chart. We can help us to see all the pieces and their relative importance. Okay. I'll cut the first slice, and then you cut the pie into four pieces, giving a piece to each of these four sections, with one being the bigger piece, two being the second biggest piece. That makes sense. Okay. So the pie is representing um, these things. Well, I'll do work first because I think that would just be quite a little. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So this is weight here. This one taking up about sixty percent. Yeah. And family, friends, and work. Oh, and I look at it like that. It looks. Huge. Okay. So seeing it all laid out like this, what are your thoughts? No, it's not. That's not good. It's yeah, it's taking up more than half. It does have a big piece of the pie, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's been out of whack, you reckon? Unbalanced. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I guess the impression I'm I'm getting is that all your eggs are in one basket. So you've got all your eggs in the weight basket yeah and that's risky for a, a few reasons I mean, it's risky because we know weight fluctuates it's up and down a lot as, as we talked about before and we also know it's largely determined by genetics so it's not an area that you have total control over it can change without you really wanting it to or it's, it's very hard to have the perfect weight that you mm -hmm. want Definitely. And, you know, if you've got all your eggs in this basket and then you don't feel so good about this area, well, you're not going to feel so good about yourself as a person because it's most of your pie chart. It takes up so much. Most of self-worth, yeah. It's, it's, it's risky in that way. Yeah, I definitely noticed that when my weight's up or I've binged or something goes wrong, um, I just feel really crappy about myself. Like, Yeah. And it seems like not only is this... Has this become larger? It's 
almost as if because of that, the, these other areas have been neglected. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It, was, it wouldn't have been like that before the eating disorder. I definitely would have found my family and friends more important. Mm. Um, but yeah, now, like, I don't want to hang out with my friends and I'm feeling fat and mm. I've got nothing that I feel comfortable and I won't go. So right. yeah. it does, it has kind of taken over. Yeah. Okay. Well, the good news is there is something we can do about this. As you said, it didn't used to look like this. These areas used to be bigger and this didn't used to be quite as large as it is. So we can modify it. Mm -hmm. So one thing we can do is make the weight section smaller. And we've already started to do that in therapy and we'll keep doing that. The other thing we can do is allocate more time and energy to these areas and make them more important again. Yeah. And make those pieces bigger. And the third option is to even put in a new piece. So I'm putting in another piece, this will have to get smaller as well. Okay. Can you think of anything that perhaps you used to enjoy that you don't do anymore or something new you'd like to try that could be a new piece for you? I used to play the guitar um, in high school and I really loved it. Um, so maybe that's something I could try and get back into. That's like a great place to start. And always my friends. I really would like to spend more time with my friends. Yeah, okay, so the friends piece could, could use a bit of work. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, we could start working on those areas now and, and in the coming weeks and keep an eye on your pie chart and see how things change. But guitar and, and friends would be pretty, pretty good places to start, start to get some of this balance back. Yeah, that sounds good. And another question you might like to ask yourself is how you'd like your pie chart to look in five years' time. Not like that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I definitely need to do some work on that, I think. Okay. Let's do it.